Greetings, Dota Scholar! I'm Reeves, and in this week's installment of... Counter Tactics! We'll be covering Spectre, because her pick rate is up, and her win rate is too high. Too damn high. It's really high. Not balanced. Like seesawing with a fat kid. Spectre is a melee hard carry that excels in the late game. She has a single target nuke that slows and leaves a spectral trail giving her free movement over all terrain. She has two passive abilities for dealing all the damages and her ultimate haunt creates an illusion next to every enemy hero for a limited time that Spectre can exchange places with whenever she feels like it. Laning against Spectre is kind of like having a fight with a live-in girlfriend. You feel like you're winning the argument, but you know at some point she's going to go in the laundry room and farm a radiance and you're going to hear about it. Common itemization for Spectre is to build a little bit tanky, but mostly damage. Damage items like Radiance and Diffusal. So here are two of the biggest tips that we can provide you when facing a Spectre. 1. Spell Immunity. Spell Immunity works great against Spectre's Desolate and Dispersion damage. It's also a good counter against the Radiance damage, she's gonna get a Radiance, and the Mischance. And two, early aggression with taking objectives. The problem with Spectre is that she is going to find a way to farm efficiently at some point in the game. And her ultimate gives her the ability to not only join any team fight she wants, but she can use it to pick off stragglers that are off alone, maybe warding one of your poor lowly supports. Remember to gank as a team or take towers consistently. You really want to end the game by around the 35 minute mark when you're against a Spectre. Because unfortunately, Spectre is an inevitability. She will come online, and once she's online, it's, you're, you lose. You just lose. When thinking of itemization, try some of these. Wards are extremely useful to scout enemy movement and a farming Spectre. And as we say in most of our videos, you, sh you should be buying wards. Just, just do it. A Silver Edge can help your entire team mitigate her damage by 40% and disable both of her passives. Here are some high win advantage heroes against Spectre provided by BTG that you should consider adding to your team lineup. Undying. His Strength Steel and Tombstone are great spells for harassing Spectre early game. Try to push towers when his Tombstone is off cooldown. Next we have Treant Protector. Treant is great for keeping team members healthy, blocking a lot of damage, and escaping. Not to mention his ultimate overgrowth is one of the few disables that you can use to control Spectre's haunt illusions. Just imagine Spectre is like the oil monster from Fern Gully and Treant is a uh, tree, a tree. And lastly we have Life Stealer. He has an innate spell immune ability, does additional damage based on the enemy's current health, and has a powerful single target slow that can help your teammates restore a bit of, uh, of health if... Uh... Okay, on paper this hero sounds amazing against Spectre. Just be prepared to be kited around once your enrage wears off. And that, that just kind of... That's gonna happen. It's worth noting that these are just three of the many heroes that have a high win advantage over Spectre. But keep in mind that the later the game goes, the better of a carry Spectre will become. Out of any of the other carries, that is truest. Truest? That's probably a word. Truest for Spectre. Remember that your goal is to defeat the other team's ancient, not to farm your jungle for 50 minutes, especially against a Spectre. Thanks for doing the ears and eyeball things you did. Remember, these are just some tips. Winning comes from experience, positive reinforcement, and not typing s the sick of bli- I don't know how to say it. The Russian thing over and over in all chat. As funny as it is. Don't deny it. You all have done it at least once or twice. If you enjoy these videos, let us know in the comments. Be sure to check out BTG on Facebook, Twitter, and BecomeTheGamer.com. And if you were tickled pink by my informative knowledge and wish to follow me in a quest to TI9, that's never gonna happen. You can find links in my social goodies in the video description and all the good stuff that I say to you guys every- I love you. Bye.